Should you get your CompTIA Network Plus certification or should you go straight for the big dog, the CCNA? Got a lot of thoughts on this one, so let's get going. What a monumental question. What a monumental topic that we're, we've got to cover here. Should you go for the CompTIA Network Plus exam, the exam that really introduces the fundamentals and sets the baseline of networking for you, or should you go for the number one certification in the land, the Cisco Certified Networking Associate, the CCNA? I mean, I just love this question. I love this topic because it's so big and it's so massive. And it really is a question that I struggled with when I was deciding what to do when I wanted to get started in IT. I knew that I wanted to start with networking because without a network, nothing works, right? What works? Does the systems work? No. Does email work? No. Who is screaming whenever the network goes out? Literally everyone. So the networking portion is where I knew I had to begin my career. And here's how I kind of decided to tackle it. Truthfully, um, I got a subscription to CBT Nuggets a long time ago. This was years ago. I watched the first two or three videos of the Network Plus with Keith Barker, and I was hooked. That was it. I was done for. I knew that I had to study the Network Plus first. And I'm so glad I did because the Network Plus exam is no joke. I barely passed that exam by the skin of my teeth and I studied for it for three or four months. I bought equipment off of eBay and I labbed it. I tried to do whatever I could to learn it. I read the textbook that Keith Barker wrote. I felt really good about it. I took it. I passed it on my first try. That exam is no joke, you guys. I was in the middle of that exam going like, I'm not feeling very good about this. Like I, I might not even pass. And at the very end, you click submit. It pops up on the screen. You passed. Woo. That was a celebration. That was a, a good day for me. Uh, but I really put a lot of effort into learning those core fundamentals for that exam. And that set me up for so much success in the CCNA. I mean, when I, I have those fundamentals, I really knew uh, the differences between layers two, three, and four, the big dogs that you need to know in the OSI stack. Uh, I really knew those down. So at that point, learning the CCNA was, oh, well, this is just the command you type to do that. And of course, Jeremy Chara's training is like, it can't be beat when it comes to CCNA training. So uh, coupling this, this strong foundation with an incredible trainer, and, you know, uh, the, the commands themselves on Cisco, you, know, you can spend 30 minutes learning why you got to type something and then it's just one command. That's kind of the theme uh, that you find, you know, when you get into things like, you know, maybe Ether Channel is pretty easy to configure. Spanning Tree, it's like one command to rule them all, right? Uh, so anyways, uh, what should you do? That's the question. That's why you're here, right? What should you do? Depends on how much time you have. It depends on how much money you have because these exams aren't cheap. Uh, it depends on you know what uh, how how much experience you have in computers in general. When I got started, I, I didn't even know what an IP address was. Like I knew like fundamentally it's an address for your computer to use the network, uh, but I didn't actually know how to decipher like the subnet mask, how hosts were arranged. I didn't know what DHCP or DNS was. So and, and I also recognized fully. Um, that this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And uh, if I was gonna do this, I was gonna do this at my own pace and I was gonna do this right. And further, um, I kind of recognized that it costs money to make money. So I was going to buy books, I was gonna buy equipment, I was gonna pay for the exams myself and I did. And I just took my own time and my own pace. And ultimately I, I just took things at the methodical one step at a time. So if you have the luxury of time, if you have a little bit of cash or you're willing to invest in yourself, my recommendation is to do the Network Plus exam before doing the CCNA if you have no networking experience. If you have some networking experience, if you are comfortable understanding like IP config and what DNS does, uh, then I would say you're probably ready to tackle CCNA, but you may have heard of this thing called Certpocalypse. There's a new CCNA coming at the end of February, and unless you're really, really going to cram in the next couple months, um, you're probably going to find yourself in a boat where you'll have to wait for the new CCNA. And that brings a different challenge, because this is a new exam. So there's now this like dilemma that you have, because there's not going to be textbooks for this new exam right off the bat. There's not going to be practice exams for this exam right off the bat. There's not even going to be chat rooms or chat sessions. 
um, that are going to help you right off the bat with the exception of CBT Nuggets. CBT Nuggets has a Slack community where people can help you and chat with you. There's also the live streams like Jeremy Chara and Keith Barker, Jeff Kish, other trainers at CBT Nuggets do live streams to help you study for the CCNA, CCNA exam. So a lot of people are rushing to get this certification exam done and out of the way before the new one rolls in because they don't want to have that two or three month gap where we're waiting for the resources to get caught up for the new exam. So if you're starting out right now, it is December 15th, the day that I'm recording this. If you're starting out right now uh, in networking, my recommendation to you is probably take the Network Plus. That way you've given yourself two or three months uh, to prepare for the Network Plus, build that foundation of networking, and it also gives uh, that Cisco gap, that lag time for like textbooks and practice exams and um, more chat and communication channels to come up. Uh, I, that, that's probably my recommendation there is, you know, you've got enough time to get your Network Plus before diving into the CCNA. And by the time you get to the CCNA, you're now ready to tackle it full strength because there's textbooks, there's practice exams, as well as the CBT Nuggets training. But if you do have some networking experience, you know what? Like I would start preparing for this new CCNA now because look, that's the end goal, right? So why waste time on Network Plus that you're already comfortable with? It's not a certification that's really going to get you that first job the way a CCNA will. So my recommendation to you is just start tackling CCNA content now because you can see from the old exam to the new exam which topics remain. Things like spanning tree are always going to be there. OSPF is always going to be on the exam. So why, why delay learning those now when you know that you can learn them right now? Ultimately, a goal for you in 2020 or 2021, whatever your pace is, would be to get the CCNA because that is the, the, the certification that rules them all. That's the best known certification that there is. And again, I would highly recommend at least getting a trial for CBT Nuggets and starting to learn the content there, as well as getting involved in the Slack community because that community is phenomenal for helping you learning networking in general. I personally used that Slack community when I was learning CCNA. We would share running configs with each other and say like, hey, why isn't this working? It was a really cool collaborative effort. So that's my take on getting a Network Plus versus the CCNA. My experience, having no experience at all, was to start from the Network Plus, build that base foundation so that you can roll into the CCNA and really crush that exam. So thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.